All right, fans, here we go. This bout coming your way, featuring junior middleweights in the ring. It is scheduled for six rounds of kickboxing. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing red trunks and fighting out of Eureka, California. His weight is at 156 pounds. His fine record, seven wins, no losses, five wins by way of knockout. Welcome the undefeated mighty Mike Seal. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner in this six round bout. He is wearing black pants and fighting out of the great city of Los Angeles, California. His weight is already 150 and one half pounds. Tonight he is making his professional debut. Welcome to the ring, Ephraim. Bad boy, Contrera. <laughs> Referee in charge now to give instruction Cecil Peoples six rounds of kickboxing. All right, gentlemen, we're going over the rules and regulations in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. Break when I say break. Keep your hands up and protect yourself at all times. Let's go get it, man. Let's go. Let's go. Seals in the red trunks. Efren Contreras and the black silk pants. Cecil Peoples, the third man in the ring. We are set to go round one of this six round junior middleweight fight. Seals, seven and oh, five of those victories by a knockout. But there was a good leg kick that was landed there by Ethan Contreras, and he comes right back with it. I don't know if Seals figured it out yet, but Ethan is a softball. Right, right. Swing, swing. Ethan Contreras wearing the black pants. Both fighters choosing to use the uh, crimson padded football, which is optional. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Kickboxing Lucy Seals using a knee. Contreras back to the orthodox style. Don't let the COVID be a beat Contreras for you. He comes out of the amateur ranks with an unblemished record of 26 and 0. Oh, oh my. And, and as far as I'm concerned, he looks more composed than Mighty Mike Seals. Seals to the right hand and then a follow up left by Contreras. by Ethan Contreras, mixing them up real well now. Contreras with a spinning back kick, and he lands on Seals' chin. Seals is hurt, and Peoples is going to stop it. This fight is stopped, I believe. Or is it? No! I thought Cecil Peoples stopped the fight. He's keeping a close eye. I'm telling you, one of the more incredible roundhouses I've seen recently. You see Ephraim Contreras here knowing he has his opponent hurt, and he just lets it go right there and catches him flush on the face. And after that, Cecil Peoples, being the experienced referee that he is, jumped right in there and, and kept a close eye on uh, Mike Seals because right. he was definitely right, the standard. Can you do this? I'm going to go take care of Seals, it. Seals, that man right there was 7-0 as a professional. Ephraim Contreras, this was his pro debut, and it took him less than one round to get his first victory as a professional. Now let's go to the center of the ring now. Jimmy Lennon has the decision on when the end officially came. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we have a time, 1 minute 59 seconds in round number one. On advice of the fighter, the referee Cecil People stops the contest. The winner by way of knockout in his first professional bout, Ephraim Bad Boy Contreras. We're coming back to the Country Club in Rosita with more in just a moment. Tony Longball's Country Club in Reseda, California is alive tonight as we bring you an evening of championship kickboxing. Tonight, the World Kickboxing Association's vacated North American Waterway Championship is up for grabs and one-time champion Ricky Valentin wants that championship again. Tonight, he'll take on the number seventh ranked Tokyo Japan's Sakuo Sonoda. Hi everybody, I'm Phil Stone along with former world champion Blinky Rodriguez and I'll tell you one thing about Ricky Valentin, he has only himself to blame, Blinky, for not wearing that welterweight belt into the ring tonight. That's true. Valentin held the title and he held it for some time due to the fact of a, a certain circumstances of his personal lifestyle. They had to strip him of the title for inactivity, but tonight he comes in, he's trained hard, he feels this fight is a springboard to a world title fight for him, Phil. And we know what Valentin can do on one of our earlier shows. We saw him against, of course, Canada's Melvin Murray. He can flat out get the job done, and there are a lot of people, Blinky, who think if he is not successful tonight against Sonoda, he's at a crossroads in his career. Is that true in your estimation? Well, I don't know if it's that bad, but I would say he needs to have a very, very good showing. Valentin has been in the sport of kickboxing for some 11 years, and if he's going to get the title shot, it's going to be after this fight. So he's going to have to win tonight if he wants to make his dream become a reality. Sonoda, number seven ranked kickboxer in Tokyo, Japan. The biggest difference is, Blinky, between the Japanese kickboxers and the American style. Is it that great anymore? No, I, I think in the late 70s, the Japanese fighters came out fighting more like the Thai fighters. They were more like fighting roosters going in a straight line back and forth at each other. But I had the opportunity to go to fight in the Orient along with uh, my brother-in-law and several other people, and they started adapting from that time.